Today we're going to be talking about the tight spot, mini spot, SWAT welder. Um, a review of the interior. Um, this is our, our air block tool caddy. Uh, you hook your uh, clean, dry air up here. You turn this on. And air will go through here. This is a vortex chiller. Um, hot air comes out the bottom and cold air comes out the top. Goes through these hoses, out the front of the machine, into the welding cables where they will cool uh, chilled air um, and help keep the welding cables clean. Welding transformer. Um, main control board is in the front and the additional control mechanisms and SCR in the back of the welder. Uh, in front of the welder, um, ground, ground cable hooks up on this side. Air goes into the chiller, of course. Uh, the welding gun hooks up on this side and there is where the trigger switch for the welding gun plugs in over here. These are quick release. Um, just screw these off. The cables come off in just a few seconds. It's all uh, intended to knock down in about uh, three or four minutes so that you can pack it up and move it easily throughout the plant without having to carry the whole thing at one time. Okay, here's our welding gun. Today we're gonna to be using a quarter inch tip I've purposely flattened the tip and taken any crown out of it. You can see here it's uh, pretty well flat. Since we're welding wire cloth, we want to engage as many of the wires at one time as we can. If we were doing sheet metal, we would want more of a crown on it so that you get more concentrated weld in the center. We want to spread the weld out over more wires at this time. Uh, trigger switch on the cable and air comes from the welder comes up the welding cables and it's going to come leak out the top side of the welding gun so we start welding uh, we've already set the machine up um, today we've got 209 volts in the shop um, the welder can use 208 or 204, up to 240 volts. Uh, we've set it to 70% power and we're gonna weld for one second. That's 60 cycles in a 60 cycle environment. So welding cloth uh, provided by the customer. This is just stainless steel. Uh, we've taken a grinder and shined it up a little bit uh, to get previous welds out where we were doing our setups. So to weld, it's very simple. We've got the ground here. This is a, a high current ground clamp. Make sure that this is clean and tight. You want this surface to ground to the stainless. Place your first weld, push, and you're done. For demonstration purposes, we are not using the air cooling. It makes a little too much noise to talk over. And temperature in the shop is uh, about 75 degrees today. And if we measure this, after that many welds, we're up to 80 degrees or so. You can put a lot of welds in without it getting too overheated. Uh, we'll tear this off in a minute uh, after we let this cool. Uh, you never test a weld while it's hot. That's not a fair test. What if we just... That's this down pretty good. If we zoom in a little bit here, you can take a look at the welds.
and you can see we've engaged, you know, two or three wires uh, in each in each weld that we did. So, a little destructive testing, okay? And this is warm to the touch, so it's probably just over 100 degrees at this point. Um, yeah, not even, okay? So, let's see how this did. Okay. And what we did is we tore holes. So the welds are, are on the stainless steel and we actually ripped the screen, screen cloth apart. Which is exactly what you want to do.